The glory of Hollywood is today maintained by characters like Tom Cruise and Keanu Reeves, both of whom take huge pride in their crafts. Over the years, their dedication to their craft has been the major reason viewers are drawn to their movies, and it has always been a very spectacular show on each occasion. Though Keanu Reeves does an amazing job on his path, Tom Cruise kind of takes the whole stunt thing to a whole new level. Recently, the display he made at Paris at the Olympics has drawn admiration even from Reeves himself. Join us as we take a better look at the inspirations behind some of these crazy stunts. This year's Olympics in Paris came with a unique touch, with the unexpected thrilling performance that Tom Cruise brought to the show. As usual, he carried out yet another very risky and expensive trick, with an aerial maneuver which had everyone on their toes. His charisma was in full show and it was just amazing to see this actor do these things even in his 60s. At this point, he is just doing these things because he loves doing them, as he is worth well over $600 million. The name Tom Cruise reminds one not only of a popular actor in Hollywood, but also of a daring personality who changed the perception of action stunts in films. Cruise does most of the dangerous stunts himself, and over time has managed to change audiences' perception of action movie scenes. This commitment to realism fuels his passion for every new mark in the industry, raising the bar with authenticity in action cinema. One of the most intriguing subjects to have ever been raised in the history of Tom Cruise's career is his insistence on performing his own stunts well into his 60s. Doing his stunts isn't a publicity stunt. Rather, it is actually an investment in his personal urge to give the audience an experience that they are in deep need of when they watch cinema. In a world where CGI can do just about anything, Cruz has managed to stand apart by embracing practical effects, bringing in a rawness and sense of danger into his action scenes often not seen in today's blockbusters. Probably his most valued contribution has been to the Mission Impossible franchise where every new installment ups what is expected from his stunts. This year, Tom Cruise is on it again to blow the minds of audiences and critics alike with yet another heart-stopping stunt in the upcoming Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 2. This time, Cruise would perform a high-altitude motorcycle jump off a cliff into a wingsuit flight across a treacherous canyon. Cruise trained for months, working with professional stunt coordinators and aerial personnel to plan a safe jump. Not only will the scene turn out to be the highlight of the film, but it will also be one of those important moments in the very fabric of cinema. The movie is scheduled to premiere in 2025, and we are already poised for the thrill. While there is no denying that stunts by Tom Cruise have garnered applause, these hardly come cheap. Cruz's stunts have been held responsible for some of the major budget overshoots in his films. A perfect example would be when, in Mission Impossible Fallout of 2018, Cruz got injured in a jump between rooftops. His ankle injury led to a delay in shooting as well as an accident that came with extra costs. This means that since Cruz insisted on doing the stunts himself, the filmmakers were not just free to substitute with a stunt double, which could have avoided delays as the actor recovered. A similar scenario played out in the Fallout helicopter chase scene, where the limits of the budget are put to the test. He had spent months training as a helicopter pilot, and in the scene, flew one through a narrow mountain pass while doing dangerous aerial maneuvers. The costs of renting the helicopters, paying professional stunt coordinators, and ensuring the crew's safety were astronomical. With the performance of high-risk stunts, there always comes a potential risk of serious injury. Tom Cruise has a trail of injuries while filming his movies. Such incidents threaten not only the safety of the performers, but also create scenarios that could lead to possible court cases. While Cruise has been fortunate enough to avoid most major lawsuits, the possibility is always there. Production companies must take out substantial insurance policies on actors, especially when those actors are performing dangerous stunts themselves. In Cruz's case, these premiums are much higher than normal, due to the dangerous nature of his stunts. One miscalculation and a bad stunt will unleash a whole array of legal complications. For example, 
an onset injury would translate into workers' compensation claims, lawsuits against the production company, and at worst, against Cruz himself, if there is a chance negligence can be proven. Besides this, filmmakers might get dragged to court for injuring the bystanders, crew members, or other actors if the stunt ever fails. Such risks also come with a possible huge downside for the production team if crews were to get gravely injured. This would likely halt production and could amount to millions of dollars in losses. When an actor is indispensable to a movie such as Cruise in the Mission Impossible franchise, a holdup can easily spiral out of hand, not just financially but regarding momentum, marketing campaigns and pre-arranged release dates. However, in the midst of all these downsides, there is actually something to look up to. For starters, Tom Cruise's stunt legacy will undoubtedly be remembered for generations to come. He has managed to raise the bar regarding action films by showing that practical effects and real stunts work in a way that CGI simply cannot manage, which is good for intensity and engagement. This attachment to realism has gone a long way toward inspiring fellow actors to take practical means in their action roles, but very few have been willing to go to the extremes that Cruz has. Cruz's stunts have become not just a feature of his films, but a key part of his brand. When audiences go to see a Tom Cruise film, particularly in the Mission Impossible series, they expect to witness something jaw-dropping, something real. It is precisely this authenticity, this palpable danger, which distances him from his peers. The risks are real and the costs are enormous, but Cruise's recklessness has brought along success not seen previously, either at the box office or with critics. His willingness to push the boundaries of what is possible on screen has now firmly established him not only as one of Hollywood's greatest actors, but also as one of its most daring and committed stunt performers. For Tom Cruise, it would seem like there is no stunt too big as long as the goal is to create an unforgettable experience on the big screen. Other actors like Keanu Reeves have admired Cruise's act and have taken a thing or two from him. In Hollywood, Keanu Reeves and Tom Cruise arguably remain two of the most popular, enigmatic personalities in the industry. Known for their attachment to their craft and impressive commitment to performing most of the stunts themselves. While Cruise's daredevil persona took all the headlines with the gravity-defying stunts seen in the Mission Impossible franchise, Reeves has gleaned similar respect for a hands-on approach in the execution of action sequences particularly in the movies John Wick and The Matrix. Both actors seem innately interested in making sure their performance is as real as can be, often translating into putting their bodies and minds through much strain. There has been mutual respect between the two, with Reeves speaking highly of Cruz's work ethic due to his great admiration for his ability to perform most of his stunts himself. Keanu Reeves forged an acting career that has spanned well over two decades and a personal ability to shape his acting persona anew with genre leaps. With film roles in Speed in 1994, the trilogy The Matrix between 1999 and 2003 and more recently with John Wick, Reeves has attained honors not only as a dynamic actor but also, more importantly, as a modest, unassuming character among his peers. Like Cruz, Reeves is known to take his roles personally. He had been training briskly in martial arts and handling firearms for John Wick, impressing fans and filmmakers alike with how serious he was about performing an authentic fight scene. Not only is Reeves recognized for his action films, but he is also widely followed because he proved resilient and kind. Having faced personal tragedies in his life, including the tragic loss of his girlfriend and unborn child, he has remained humble, and that humbleness has drawn people to him. However, while both Reeves and Cruz have been celebrated, they have not necessarily bypassed the dark side of Hollywood. In Cruz's case, he has been caught in some controversies over the years. Perhaps the most notorious incident took place in 2005 on The Today Show, where Cruz spoke against actress Brooke Shields for taking antidepressants against her postpartum depression. He said psychiatric medications did not work, and questioned the whole field of psychiatry. The interview called forth a firestorm of criticism and certainly infuriated many who felt he was insensitive about mental health. Shields herself replied, calling Cruz ignorant of the problems women face concerning health, 
thus causing more damage to the celebrity's image at that time. Even though Cruz later apologized, the controversy never died and remained one of the less glamorous moments in his career. Reeves, on his part, has had his own set of problems with the industry. He is known to overlook the lifestyle of a celebrity and keeps a rather low profile. Reeves famously passed on roles that didn't square with his values, causing tension with major studios. One of the more major instances occurred when after The Devil's Advocate in 1997, he declined a role in Speed 2, Cruise Control. Despite the substantial paycheck offered him, the studio moved to replace Reeves with Jason Patrick instead of waiting for him to be available. However, the movie turned out to be a flop. Unhappy with the results, the studio went on to blacklist Reeves in the industry, pushing other executives to perceive him as being difficult to work with, and that resulted in Reeves not being able to secure gigs for a while. Of course, his resurgence later came along with his roles in The Matrix, and much later, with John Wick. Besides professional setbacks, Keanu Reeves had never been short of personal troubles. In 2009, a Canadian woman named Karen Sala filed a lawsuit against Reeves, claiming that he was the father of her four children. She wanted $150,000 a month for child support and asked for millions of dollars in back child support. Though she insisted she knew Reeves that well, Reeves said he had never met the woman. When the DNA results finally showed he was not the father, the case was thrown out. The baseless case was just one example of the invasive experiences celebrities have in their public lives. Cruz and Reeves have both seen the darker sides of fame that quite often come along with being celebrities in Hollywood. In Cruz's case, the public interest in his life, particularly with regard to his personal view on issues, has been growing in the past years. Also, some of the issues from his personal life have made headlines for years, including his marriage and subsequent divorce from actress Katie Holmes, and also the custody battle for their daughter, Suri. Added to these personal battles, the pressures of fame keep coming, as he has to always give his best in any role he is given. Reeves is not as mired in public controversy, but he too has his demons. This decision to keep his private life private has generated continuous rumors and false reports regarding his personal life. Besides that, the tragic death of his girlfriend Jennifer Syme, along with their unborn child, brought a tragic note in the life of Reeves in 1999. However, these personal as well as professional setbacks didn't halt Reeves from giving his best to his work. Indeed, Reeves has won praise for his resilience and agility. Tom Cruise and Keanu Reeves undoubtedly rank among Hollywood's most iconic and respected actors, not only because of their acting capabilities, but also because of the use of their respective talents in performing stunts that really push the physical limits of a human being. This mutual appreciation for one another's work reflects that both actors have taken on roles that require immense physical preparation and a hands-on approach toward action. Still, both have had a share in the negative sides of success, including legal battles and personal losses. For them to push through all of these and yet manage to pull off truly groundbreaking performances says so much about their strength as artists and their sustaining appeal in Hollywood. Beyond all these, both of these actors seem to have very interesting takes about the introduction of modern tech into Hollywood. Like all industries, Hollywood has seen a rapid advancement in technology in the last couple of decades, which has brought benefits and also controversies to its doorsteps. One such controversy was when a photo of Tom Cruise and Keanu Reeves apparently shirtless on a beach went viral. At first glance, the photo seemed to show a candid moment between the two iconic actors, rarely seen together off screen. Within hours, though, word filtered out that the photo was a deep fake. It was an image generated with advanced AI capable of photo and video manipulations with shockingly realistic results. With this reality check, both actors have spoken about their concern about the rising use of deepfakes in movies, particularly those in which they star. Their opposition is not exactly with technological advancement per se, but more with what deepfakes bring along with them in terms of ethical and creative implications. 
Keanu Reeves has been very outspoken against the use of deep fakes in movies. As someone known to be deeply involved with his movies, Reeves has placed contractual clauses that no digital manipulation or alteration of his likeness can ever be done without explicit approval from him. This move emanates from his belief that an actor's performance is his own and shall not be distorted or enhanced through artificial means. He has time and again spoken about the authenticity of acting and how digital manipulation could undermine the craft. This seems to flow from the bigger concern about the direction that the industry might take once deepfake technology becomes widespread and normal in the filmmaking process. Tom Cruise has joined in airing his fears over deepfakes, particularly about authenticity in performances. While Cruise has never been one to back down from a challenge on set, whether that means doing his own stunts or embracing the latest in cinematic technology, he seems to have an issue when it comes to deep fake technology. More than anything, Cruz grounds most of his appeal on doing the stunts himself. The notion that his image could so easily be fake tends to destroy any semblance of authenticity he aims to attain with regard to his roles. In that sense, Cruz also thinks deep fakes pose a potential threat to the integrity of the performances the actors work so hard to deliver. A close rapport with their audiences has been a cornerstone in the careers of both actors. That rapport is vastly dependent upon the belief of the screen audience that what they see is actually them and their skills and dedication. Deep fake technology could, in their opinion, destroy that bond since it completely obscures what's real and what's computer generated. If various reports are to be believed, then Reeves has inserted clauses in his contracts for recent projects that bar studios from using deepfake technology to change his performance without his approval. That means his performances belong to him and can't be digitally manipulated in ways that distort his acting and physical presence. This concern reflects Reeves's deep respect for the craft of acting and a fear that deepfakes undermine such authenticity of the profession. Drawing such a firm line is a statement from Reeves about how important keeping the human element in filmmaking is, even while technological advances can do much more. However, this doesn't mean that the duo are against tech innovations in the industry. On the contrary, both have moved along with the times. Tom Cruise has always been at the front line when using the latest special effects and best equipment possible as seen in movies such as Top Gun, Maverick, and the Mission Impossible series. Same way, Reeves' role in movies like The Matrix pushed the boundaries of special effects and used quite new cinematography methods. The problem with deepfakes for them is in ways this technology could be abused and used in cases where they might undermine the thrill that people feel when they know that actual humans are behind some of these tricks. Some fear that some stunt specialists might lose their place in the industry if such is allowed to fester. To them, it is a question of balance, introducing new tools, but still keeping respect for the very process of creation and the people who create them. It's not surprising that these two have these takes about how things should work in the movie industry. They have both been at the top of their games and people are always excited to see what they will be doing next. As for Cruz, he has a big project in line in the Mission Impossible franchise, which should be expected in theaters by May 2025. No doubt, this will be another masterpiece. That will be all for this video, and we will see you in the next one.